I'm gonna press it. Oh. Oh. What the? Yo, he has a name tag. Vatican. Hey everyone, Rage Elixir here, and welcome to episode two of the Emerald Town roleplay series. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but in the last episode, we were making tons and tons of money. We are currently at 14,420 coins, dollars, whatever you guys want to call it. But in the last episode, we actually encountered this figure or this character named Entity Zero. And he actually handed us this thing or this item called the Emerald of Truth. And we were supposed to hand it to this character called Vatican. Now, I don't know where Vatican is, so I think we're supposed to look for him in this episode, but I also want to continue our adventure in making money and all that. Now, I don't know if we have enough food or not, so we we probably should grab some extra food. We I mean, we do have plenty of money, guys. Let's let's have some variety because if we just eat cooked chicken for the rest of our days, it's going to get uh, it's gonna get dull and we probably wouldn't like the food anymore. So we're gonna get some cooked pork chop, we're gonna get cooked beef. I mean, they're only 120 coins each. So we have 10 of each now, guys. Check this out. I am good on food. I think we're pretty stocked up on food now. Can we talk to this butcher? Okay, so if we... Oh, so if we turn in this food, we also get emeralds. Now, I don't know what emeralds actually do in this minigame or in this roleplay series. So I'm probably gonna ignore that for now. And I don't know if we actually checked this place out last time. Let's, let's, uh, what does this do? Does this button do anything? I have absolutely no idea what that button does, but we have a really cool, like, cow farm, I guess. I want to start a farm, actually. With all this money, I'm pretty sure we can now start a farm. Um, I think this was the shop that had, like, pigs, cows, and all that. So I kind of want to check it out. So we can buy a bucket for 350 gold. Uh, we do have one bucket, but it might be nicer to have another one, I guess, to transport water. So we'll go for two. Um, we also can buy shears. I'll just go ahead and buy that. Buy leads for 500. And now we only have 12,830 coins left. Now, guys, I don't know what the goal of this series is supposed to be. Maybe we're supposed to make tons and tons of money uh become the richest player in minecraft but i'm not too sure guys we'll find out when we actually reach vatican's house and actually meet this person named vatican i don't know who that is but we'll find out sooner or later so we can also buy cows for 2000 and oh 2000 gold for a cow that's uh that's a pretty good deal i would say uh we can also buy sheep for 3500 gold so i think i might buy two cows we have plenty of money, so, and, um, I think I'll buy one sheep. Why not? I mean, I only have 5,000 gold left, but it's okay. It's okay, guys. We'll make more by easily mining up this diamond over here. Guys, we have a, we have an unlimited supply of diamonds over here. What's in here? There's nothing over here. And still, it's broken over here. That's pretty funny. Okay, but I feel like the easiest way to make money in this... I guess in this world is to just mine all this diamond up i feel like diamond has the most value so we just turn that into the into the thing right there whoever this guy is gumberk we turn it into gumberk and we make a crazy profit and that's what we've been doing so far i mean how else did i get to 14,000 gold 14,000 money and it's only the first day guys still day one i don't know why the days haven't changed yet but still day one which is good I'm just gonna keep mining, guys. I, maybe I should mine until this pickaxe breaks. No, actually, I want to upgrade the pickaxe very, very soon. So I'll probably mine up, you know, a couple more diamonds, probably a full stack. So we are currently at 51 diamonds. I'll get 64. And then I'll probably turn in all these diamonds. And then I'll probably buy the next level up uh, for the pickaxe, the diamond pickaxe. So... Oh, okay, so we have a stack now. A full stack. Let's see how much money we get, guys. Check this out. Gumberk, I'm about to give you a full stack of diamonds. Let's see what I get. And oh my goodness, we just reached 22,000 gold. Look at that, guys. Look at the left side 
of my screen right now just straight gold we get 250 gold for each diamond basically so i'm definitely gonna buy a diamond pickaxe guys it's only a thousand two hundred gold that is definitely worth it and i think let's head back to the shop real quickly before we head back home uh because we got some planting to do we we got we gotta you know upgrade our farm and all that and i want to see you know because i bought the sheep and i bought the uh cows but they aren't in my inventory i i was expecting to get like spawn eggs for this but no spawn eggs guys my inventory is empty um so it says sell milk wool only white wool and i'm expecting a sheep to be back at home so if there is we could use the shears that we just bought from the shop on the sheep and we can sell the sheep or no not not the sheep the wool that we get from the sheep and i gotta remind myself you know what these shops sell for so these shops they they buy the hoes so i mean we don't, we don't really need that because my wooden hoe is still good um seed shop and i believe this is where we sell all the crops and all that and we can also buy all these seeds and i think i might actually buy extra carrots and possibly more wheats as well because why not I, I'm making a ton of money from these seeds anyway, so it's all good. And Lick's house. Lick's house is still empty, guys. I don't know what Lick's house is all about. It's very creepy. I'm getting very creepy vibes from Lick's house because, you know, there is a creepy pasta about this thing called Lick um, that I've actually battled in the past. Um, and if you guys haven't seen that yet, I'll probably link that in the description down below. But, um... We gotta look for Vatican's house, man. We've started this episode talking about Vatican, but we haven't actually done anything about it. Um, we're gonna have to... Yeah, I, I need to go grab some water for... <gasps> Yo, is this my sheep? So I bought two cows and one sheep, right? Yo, this must be it. Uh-oh, Clo close the door. Yo, these are my sheep, guys. Look at this. That is so awesome. We have my sheep right here and my cows. Oh, I can milk these cows and I can also shear them. Oh, yes. I mean, not, not shear the cow. I can shear the uh, the sheep. Oh, hey. Don't you think about it. Don't moo me. Don't you think about it. Get back in there. All right. All right. You, you, you're supposed to be part of my farm. Okay, so um, I don't really think we need more water but you know what i'm gonna expand the farm a little bit we have 10 10 seeds so we can put that to good use um so i'll use the seeds on this one two three one two three one two three and we have an extra seed that we can use for later but you know what i'm gonna wait for the wheat to grow for the time being we're gonna look for vatican's house but um we're gonna let all these wheat grow or these seeds grow into wheat and then sell them to the shop so we get a ton of money guys we're becoming one of the richest players in minecraft right now which is absolutely awesome so aha uh -huh. i just found vatican's house i'm pretty sure we came here in the last episode right and it didn't have this sign here it didn't say vatican's house last time guys there was literally no sign here someone's playing tricks on me guys someone must be on this world and they, they they must be playing tricks on me i don't know guys this is a role play world at the end of the day so they could be pulling some stuff you know i mean if i accomplish something they might have added this or something i don't know maybe it's an automated system i don't know but it says do not touch right here and there's a button a secret button they thought they were slick guys so from from this angle you can't really tell there's a button because the button literally blends in with the wood that's so weird okay guys when it says do not touch it makes me i don't know it, it just makes me even want to press it even more so i'm gonna do it guys i'm gonna press the button see what happens you know we have nothing to lose it's all for entertainment at the end of the day it's for you guys so here we go guys three two one and i'm gonna press it oh oh what the yo he has a name tag vatican ha <laughs> hey i'm actually in vatican's house where am i this legit looks like 
This looks nothing like that place that we were just in. Welcome to my house. Wait, what? This is so confusing. Are you enjoying Entity Realm? Uh... Wait. Uh, what do I say? <laughs> What's that? Okay, he's... This is Entity Zero's Realm. Oh, okay, I see. I mean, Entity Zero did kind of explain that to me, so... Keep, let's keep talking with Vatican. I'm not too sure what we're getting ourselves into, but um, Entity Zero sent me here. I was supposed to look for someone named Vatican, and I think this is it. I mean, this is Vatican, right? You have something for me? Oh, I do actually. I do. I should probably get rid of these signs right here. I could actually make use of these signs later on as well. All right. Oh, he just made a hole in the... What the? What the? Can I trust this thing, guys? Can I trust this character named Vatican? I don't know. Okay, well, here's the Emerald of Truth that... uh. Entity Zero gave me. I mean, take it. What am I supposed to do now? I was supposed to give it to you. Your goal is to become the richest Minecraft player. Oh. Am I now? Uh. How so? What am I supposed to do? I mean, we've made 21,000 coins. I don't know if that's rich or not, but it seems like it is. It's a lot of money, right? Earn, earn, earn money. Okay. All right. Well, I, I, I kind of get it now. Wait, what? Good luck on your journey. All right. What am I supposed to do now? Guys, like this is kind of confusing. I literally just gave Vatican... Uh, the emerald the emerald of truth. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it But it seems like Vatican knows what it's all about. So it says press the secret button Behind me to return home. Oh, okay. I'm gonna press Can I press any of these? Oh What the it just teleporting me back up to whoa, this is actually so weird guys Where was I just now? Hold on a second guys I was just thinking about it and I basically went through all of this, you know, I talked to Entity Zero, he gave me the Emerald of Truth, I had to find Vatican's house, and now that I did, I gave the Emerald of Truth to this Vatican character for nothing? That thing or that person just told me good luck on my journey and I didn't get a reward for... what? I am so confused. I'm going back, guys. What? I was just thinking about it. I was- What? Where did he go? Did he just ditch? I don't think that was the real Vatican, guys. I Um... I'm so confused, guys. You guys have to let me know in the comment section down below. Was that a troll or was that actually Vatican? Because if that's not the real Vatican... We just lost ourselves some sort of reward, and I'm actually mad. Because we got nothing for doing all that work. I don't know, guys, but seems a bit sketchy. Now, we have a lot of wool that we can turn into the shop. I also want to milk the cows as well. So I'll probably do that in just a second. We have buckets. Probably put this water back. I'm going to milk this cow. Thank you for the milk. Thank you for the milk. Ooh, so I see what the bucket is for now. Oh, yes. We're about to make plenty of money, guys. I don't know why the diamonds are a an unlimited source. Because I can literally abuse the heck out of the diamonds and just keep mining it until I make like 50,000 gold. Which I'm pretty tempted to do. But first, I wanted to try out all the other money-making methods and see how much money I get from this, you know? But it seems like... 
You guys see that? Okay, so for each diamond, we only get 250 gold. Now, when I gave it milk and wool, I just got like a thousand gold. What is actually happening? No way. I'm buying more buckets, guys. Oh, so that's what it was for. Is it actually worth it, though? Oh. <gasps> We're going to buy more sheep. We have to. I'm buying so many animals now, guys. This this will be worth it, guys. It seems like I'm spending a lot of money right now. But it's going to be worth it. Trust me. Oh, my goodness. Let's get more buckets as well. I, I might be a little greedy right now, guys. But this has to be done. I, I want to test something. So, currently, we have 3,500 gold, right? Oh, no. I'm almost out of food. I got to eat, guys. Okay, and I also have to... Use the furnace. Because we have some unfinished ore. Oh, I can also sell this as well. How much money do I get from uh, selling iron ingots? 100 gold. So not too much. Alright, so we're going to go back. Shear the sheep. And um, grab some of the cows. Oh, so I think I, I kind of get it now. So each... So I guess like... We go in stages so this is like the first stage the first village that we run into the next village or the next stage that we run into is the ores and it doesn't give us as much as money as the uh the final stage i guess so i kind of get it now so i guess the main goal right now is to basically just farm up these uh these animals oh <gasps> okay they only want white wool so this is really unfortunate oh no that I can't dye them either. I can't re-dye them either. I don't think. We have another white wool right here. Or white sheep. Which is perfect. Keep on eating the grass, man. We need you to grow your wool back. To all the white... To all the white sheep. You gotta grow back your things fast. Alright. Let's grab all the milk. Wait. I could've just milked the... In I could've just milked one cow. And just bought a ton of buckets. That was a really big mistake on my end, but it's okay, guys. I want to see how much profit we get from this. So we're currently at 5,000 gold. And I want to see by the end of this, I want to see how much money I can get. So let's see how much money we can get just from this. All right, guys. Let's see if we can become the richest player in Minecraft. I, I feel like we still have a ways to go, but we're doing a pretty good job nonetheless right now. Oh, so I'm, I mean, I have less gold than I did before though, but I feel like if we buy more buckets, it'll be worth it. Oh, wait, did it sell? Oh, it also sold my wool as well. So, um, I can't sell anything here, huh? Oh, but I see. I feel like the emeralds also have, have to do something. I, I don't know what it has something to do with just yet. But I'll probably find out, I guess. This guy's name is Lang. Okay, um. What else is over here? I feel like there's some hidden clues around here. Or something like that. I don't know. But I, I think that this episode was a pretty successful episode nonetheless. So if you guys want to see the next episode of this series. Make sure you guys go down below right now smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already and also guys don't forget to turn on my post notifications because it lets you guys know whenever i upload so basically guys we made tons of money in this episode and i'm really happy about that um off camera i might actually do some some mining i'm probably gonna mine some diamonds and make some of that extra money so i can you know get used to this map and make even more money in the next episode. I don't know what I'm supposed to do next, guys. Because we did talk to Vatican. And we got nothing. So, I don't know. Maybe we have to find Entity Zero again. And tell him, you know. We we, 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 we gave Vatican the Emerald of Truth. But we didn't get anything back. So, was that the real Vatican? Or the fake Vatican? I don't know. Maybe it was a fraud. Maybe someone knew. That I was headed to Vatican's house with the Emerald of Truth. So he acted as Vatican so he can take the Emerald of Truth and steal it. I don't know guys, but we'll, we'll find out.
it's just a theory of mine so anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you all in the next episode peace <laughs>